Hey guys, King Gath here with some mod news. If you haven't seen it already, I released a tutorial video showing off the big new feature in the 1.0.3 patch of Workshop Plus, and that's the ability to blueprint buildings in your settlement and make copies of them in any other settlement you like. And for Xbox players, this even allows you to kind of get access to the layer clone feature, which was previously only available if you had MCM via the copy feature. So now you have access to that as well via the blueprinting. Now I'm not going to go over over how you use it in this video, I will link below to the full tutorial video, which will show you a lot of the things you can do with that new feature that's kind of mimicking the Fallout 76 blueprinting feature. All right, next I wanna talk about the 1.0.7 patch for Workshop Framework. So primarily that added the backend coded necessary for the 1.03 patch of Workshop Plus to function, but it's also got a important bug fix that could help with players who are having trouble getting new settlers to be recruited while using Workshop Framework. And it also added a couple of new options. Now I'm gonna show these off in MCM, but just like every other option in Workshop Framework, they're also available in the holotape if you're on Xbox or not using MCM. So so if you go down in the first screen here, you'll see a new one called Consume Basic Resources Only. Now, what happens by default in your settlements is that every day, each of your settlers will eat one piece of food and drink one bottle of water. Now, they can eat any kind of food and drink any kind of water. So that could be any of the food you've crafted yourself, any rare meats. They could even drink some of that dirty water, which is rare for building certain recipes. So if you turn this option on, instead, they will only ever consume pure purified water and the basic crops that you can build in the vanilla game. So that way you can ensure that your settlers aren't going to accidentally eat up all of the things you've been storing in your workbench. And then the other option I've added is the ability to turn off those little workshop tutorial messages that come up after you start a new save. Personally, I am constantly starting up new saves to test things out. So I was getting really annoyed by that smug little vault boy up in the corner and decided it was going to be time to have an option to just ax him. So you can come in here, turn this off, and then as soon as the next tutorial message would pop up instead it won't pop up and you won't get any more of those for that save now if you turn it back on it kind of resets them and they can all come back up so I assume once you turn them off you're gonna leave it off for that particular save as I'm sure most of you have built in settlements for far too long and don't need those tutorials any longer and then lastly, I want to talk about the 3.5.0B hotfix for Sim Settlements. So if you had found in the last three or four weeks that Sim Settlements was not working for you anymore, or if you were new to Sim Settlements and you couldn't get it working, and the biggest sign of that was that when you loaded the hollow tape, it would just loop on an OK screen and would never actually finish loading the mod. Well, I found the cause of that. It turns out I had accidentally included a script that depended on you having the Vault Tech Workshop DLC. So if you didn't have that you would suddenly not be able to play some settlements anymore so the 3.5.0 b patch will fix it. Now, if you're new to Sim Settlements and things aren't working after you do the 350B patch, you're going to want to do what's called a clean save. And essentially, all you do is go into your mod screen, then click the load order button and uncheck Sim Settlements. Now load up your save, make a new copy of that save, and then re-enable Sim Settlements and load that save once again. And that will take care of it. Essentially, it, it reinstalls the mod so that all of the triggers can happen again because what was happening for you guys where the holotape was getting stuck in the loop is because some of the scripts were looking for the vault tech dlc they would just fail to load and then some settlements wouldn't be able to start correctly but some of it would start so you'd end up with kind of a broken install so you just need to basically uninstall it reinstall that 350b patch now if you already had some settlements running on a save without the vault tech workshop dlc and are having trouble loading your existing save you don't have to do a clean save or uninstall just update to 350b and you should be back in business and thank you to everybody who voted in the city plan contest. We have a winner. The winner is Klepto Heart with the design of Starlight Drive-In that was very, very full. Huge town, lots of detail. Now, this is going to end up being a complex plan, so likely not something everybody's going to experience, but we are going to get that and all of the rest of the contestants added to the city plan pack very, very soon. So congratulations to Klepto Heart, and I can't wait to share all of these awesome city plans with you guys. Now, on that note, because of the issue we discovered that I described in exhausting detail in the 350 
patch notes video. I am going to release these in a variety of ways. I'll likely break up each month's contest entries into a separate mod as well, plus have the central one that has them all. So that way, if any of you run into any issues with that script data limit, you'll be able to pick and choose the actual ones you want and rather than having to just not be able to use the mod at all. All right, guys, that should cover it for this news. Keep an eye out for continuous updates. I've got a lot of fixes and changes and features coming down the pipes for all of these mods. And I've even got a couple of little small new mods in the works for the workshop framework. So keep an eye out for those. All right, guys, take care and enjoy the mods.